yes, this is my first time to exhibit in, um, in Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, obviously over the years I've been visiting Scotland and visiting Edinburgh specifically. Uh, I noticed how culturally uh, open it is to painting and drawing. Um, so this is why I've specifically come to the white space to actually uh, exhibit here. So for the past 20 years, my subject matter has been relatively the same. Um, most, most of the subject matter is, is about the island where, I, where I'm from, the island where I've grown up, um, in Holyhead and Anglesey. Um, and basically, it's the influence of that one square mile radius influence, specifically the ships traveling to and from um, Holyhead to Dublin. Um, people coming and relaxing on the coast and people coming to uh, visit the island and to relax for the summer time and even the winter time as well and so a lot of my influence has been based on the locality and looking for these small tiny motifs um, in the paintings and so the subject matter has not changed it's just evolved into different things such as the trains the ships um, boats, um, the sky especially, uh, and the aeroplanes that do travel internationally and, um, uh, and also internally in the UK. So all these influences feed into the paintings um, um, and just they amalgamate into, into a, a wide variety of um, different kinds of subject matters. So the subject, so the subject matter is pretty much the same. Uh, I've moved to more figurative. Um, I've moved to more figurative painting. So I've started to use and design people in the paintings, and that's something where I actually reflect on how society likes to come and relax um, in different in in the coastal parts of the island, in the coastal parts of North Wales. Um, the people in the images have been designed so. Uh, kind of like a similar, it's kind of similar to a film, uh, if you're designing a scene, these, these images of people in the paintings have been designed um, for that specific location, um, especially if you're out walking about, uh, I normally take a sketchbook with me or I have a camera, and obviously the camera phone as well, which is really helpful, so I use that to um, actually uh, note photographic images and also note down notes of what people are doing um, and why are they there specifically to relax and that sort of thing feeds into the work uh, and then I just build a, um, I build an image in the sketchbook uh, to create these paintings. Also um, by looking at other artists such as the pre-Raphaelites, um, an American artist Alice Katz, uh, a figurative painter, uh, these also feed into the work. Uh, so those external influences of looking at, the, uh, looking at other artists, um, you're actually able to see that um, that pre-Raphaelite, neo-romanticism neo neo uh, in the work itself. So yeah, it's, it's ongoing, it's developing and changing. Well, I've well, I've actually admired uh, the Scottish um, art scene in Edinburgh for a very long time, perhaps the last 20, uh, 20 years uh, since studying at college. I think it's an eclectic mix of artists here in Scotland. Uh, notably, you have John Byrne, um, a well-known, established um, painter in Glasgow. Uh, you have John Bellamy as well, um, and also you have Peter Doig, who is a notable. Um, 
Edinburgh artist who was born and bred here. Um, sadly, no longer based in Edinburgh, but these artists have, you know, have all again you know, influenced my work. And you have a, you have a notable and reputable um, art college and art university here in Edinburgh. Uh, and you have the Fringe Festival as well in the summertime, which brings in different people from uh, different parts of the world into the locality here. The response, the response to the exhibition so far has been really positive. Um, I've had extended contacts with other artists and um, designers um, and we're able to collaborate and talk to each other about creative ideas. And part and parcel of being a fine artist is this networking and reaching out to other people. Um, something that you would not be able to actually do in online as easily because of that digital distance. Um, but physically, when you're in the space with somebody else or physically when you're in a space with, a, with another artist, then yes, you're actually able to make those contacts, those further contacts with other people. Um, so yes, it has been very positive uh, here in Edinburgh and especially here at the White Space Gallery. It's been very, very, uh, very good. Um, so now it's just uh, growing on that, extending uh, those contact links to these artists, contacting them uh, and basically discussing further ideas and even uh, contacting other galleries, either in the locality or in other parts here in Scotland. So it's been very, very positive.